Today I have a very sad story and a very happy story. And so I'm going to share the sad one first so that we can end on a good note. So what is my sad story? Well, I recently came into contact with a couple of people who were looking to sell some Silver Age comic books. And as we were talking about a couple of issues that I was interested in buying, I tried to be friendly and I asked if they had put together the collection themselves or since they're a bunch of old books that they're ones that they inherited from someone. And so they told me that the wife had actually inherited it from her uncle. But then they told me the sad story of how earlier this year, one of their family members had come by unexpectedly with a friend of his that they didn't know. And when they left, they realized that the two most valuable issues from that collection, which were an Aquaman number one and a Justice League of America number one, were missing. And so they realized that this friend of their family members must have taken those books and man, they're not even my comic books, but it broke my heart to hear that. Such a sad story. And so they asked if I would share that with anyone else that I know who collects comics so that you could be on the lookout for them. And those comics have a telltale sign to them. Uh, so their uncle, who had the initials GR, either wrote those initials or just R on each of those comic books. And so if you happen to come across an Aquaman number one or Justice League of America number one with those initials on them, uh, please let me know so that I can let them know. Of course, it's a long shot of that happening, but I do hope some way they're able to recover those books. But despite that sad story, thankfully on my end, I was able to reach a deal with them on a couple of cool comic books that I'm super excited to add to my collection starting with this one, Detective Comics number 300, which contains the first appearance of perhaps the most d tier list villain of all time, the Polka Dot Man, who of course has seen a surge in popularity this year unexpectedly. I never would have told you five years ago people would have cared about the Polka Dot Man, uh, but since he was featured as a character in the Suicide Squad movie. And uh, so I'm super set, happy to have his first appearance and I just love this cover. Uh, it's such the epitome of Silver Age silliness. Uh, he's throwing out these polka dots and Batman's like, ah, oh, he's turned one of them into a flaming sun. And uh, just a lot of uh, coolness and, and Silver Ageiness to it. And the other book that I got was this one, Detective Comics number 332, which has this awesome Joker cover. And whenever I can add a cool Joker cover to my collection, I am happy to do it. Now, speaking of cool covers, I was able to pick up a few other comic books this week from a different seller. And as many of you know, I collect Todd McFarlane covers and I'm trying to collect all of his Marvel and DC covers. And so I was able to scratch three more of those off of my list, beginning with this one, Incredible Hulk number 342. And I'm especially excited about this one because it was the last of his Hulk covers that I didn't have. And so it's awesome to have completed this mini McFarlane Hulk run. Uh, but I also picked up Marvel Comics Presents number 32, which is probably his least well-known cover uh, because it's from this series that isn't hugely popular, Marvel Comics Presents, and it's the only one he did for that series. But it does contain this cool Shadow Cat cover. And finally, I got Marvel Tales number uh, 233, which of course contains this awesome Spider-Man and X-Men cover. And as many of you probably know, the Marvel Tales series reprinted earlier Spider-Man stories and often it would have a different cover attached to it to appeal to people to add this to their collection even if they had the original book. And speaking of Spider-Man and cool covers, I was able to pick up a couple of cool non-McFarlane Spider-Man books to add to my collection from this seller. Starting off with this one, Spectacular Spider-Man number 101, which has this awesome John Byrne black and white cover. And this is one that I've been hunting for for a while and so super happy to have it. And I also got Web of Spider-Man number 48, 
which is the first appearance of the Demo Goblin, who is a character where Hobgoblin merged with a demon during the Inferno storyline. And uh, this was a major Spider-Man villain when I was collecting comics as a kid, and I thought he was terrifying. And so it's a book that I've always wanted, and so super happy to finally have gotten my hands on one for a good price. So what is my happy story? Well, as some of you might remember, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video where I described a really negative experience that I had with a subscriber who had gone over the line and a couple of things that he had done and said to me. And so I talked about that in the video and I, and I made that video for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, I wanted to encourage all of us to be loving and kind on the internet because it's just so easy to dehumanize the person on the other side of the screen and say mean or hateful things. Uh, but secondly, I was hoping that even though he had unsubscribed, that somehow he would come back and look at that video and realize that what he had done was a mistake uh, and that he would apologize for it. And I'm happy to say that happened because a few days later he did watch the video and then he reached out to me and sent me a, a real long, sincere, apology where he acknowledged how he had gone over the line and I really appreciated that. It took a lot of humility to to own up to the mistake that he had made. Uh, you know, it's someone I'll probably never see in, in real life and no one will ever know. You know, I hadn't mentioned his name online because I didn't want to, you know, stir up problems for him. Uh, and so he could have just ignored me forever, but he didn't. And so I, I was really thankful for that humility, and we exchanged a few messages, and we were able to, you know, come together again, and I was able to forgive him and us to get back on the same page and be good with each other. And so I wanted to share that uh, just as a positive story to encourage us once again to be kind. Uh, but when we find ourselves in a position where we are not kind, uh, to be like this guy and to humble ourselves and apologize for it. And on the flip side, if we're the ones who have been wronged, uh, if someone does come to us sincerely and try to work things out, to be forgiving and not hold a grudge. And so uh, I'm sure he's going to see this video. And so I do want to really, again, say thank you. Uh, you know who you are. I won't, again, say your name. Uh, but I really do appreciate that. And I also appreciate all of you who have watched this video. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd ask you if you would consider doing so. It would mean a lot to me and help us grow. And uh, leave a comment uh, telling me which of the books I picked up you like the most, or maybe a book that you've recently picked up that you like, or anything else about comics or even life. Uh, like the video, all those things that help us with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, and I look forward to the next one.